Hey everybody, today we're going to make um, a game that you can play at home. These are the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need a hot glue gun or just some regular old glue will work just fine. Uh, a pair of scissors, some kind of marker, and then either some paper towel or toilet paper rolls, and some kind of box. I have this, this little box looks like this. You could use a shirt box, you can use a shoe box, you could use a copy paper lid box, um, any flat box that has a little bit of a raised side will work, and you're also going to need a marble. All right, so the first step in this process is to take either your toilet paper rolls or paper towel tubes, and you're going to cut them into pieces just like this. You can make some that are a little bit thinner like that, and some a little bit wider if you want. And you're going to do as many of those as you want for the game we're going to make, and you'll see how that works here in just a minute. The first thing you want to do is cut some pieces of these. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take all your pieces, and if I can have my cameraman come in here a little closer, I chose to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. So nine pieces, and that depends on the size box that you have. You're starting to get the idea maybe of what we're going to do here. And you're going to number them from one to nine in this case, and it doesn't matter what order they're in. Actually, a random order is going to be really what we're looking for here. So number your pieces. So now we have all of our pieces numbered. You can see them right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue them to the bottom of the box. And we want them to kind of be in a random order. Because the object of the game is going to be to get your marble to go around through each numbered uh, hoop or a numbered tunnel in number order. So we don't want them to be in number order when we put them in the box. So I'll get started here. Put a little bit of glue here and put number one in the box. Obviously, you're going to want to make sure you leave enough room for it to get in and out on both sides. And then you're just going to glue these in, whatever works for you. All right, so as you can see here, I glued all of my numbered pieces into the box, just like this. Uh, they're in a random order. Um, you can see it looks pretty plain, just a brown box with some brown hoops in there. So you can have your child uh, paint them or use markers or crayons or colored pencils. They can do it before or after uh, you put it in. It might be easier if you're uh, coloring them to do that before you put them into the box. And then you can play the game. So how do you play? You take your marble, you put it in the box, and the object of the game is to try to get it to go through each hoop in numbered order. And there I got it through number one. Now I'm rolling it down here to number two. See if I can get it through two. Easier said than done. So you get the point of the game here. Um, you can have a competition to see who can get it through all, in this case, nine of the hoops the fastest. Uh, if you have a young child, this is a great way to work on number recognition. Go to one, go to two, go to nine, whatever the case may be. You can even do addition and subtraction uh, in certain ways. You know, hey, go through nine first, now find the hoop. If I take three away, what does it equal? Those kinds of things. So you can have a lot of fun playing with a homemade game 